Hello, I'm Elliot Antman, president of the American Heart Association. An important new scientific statement dealing with hypertension was published today by the American Heart Association in collaboration with the American College of Cardiology and the American Society of Hypertension. It is published in the AHA's journal Hypertension and simultaneously in circulation the Journal of the American College of Cardiology and the Journal of the American Society of Hypertension. The authors remind us that hypertension is a major independent risk factor for coronary artery disease for all race, age, and sex groups. Epidemiologic studies have also shown that an elevated blood pressure is the most important determinant of the risk of stroke. What this statement deals with is the very important topic of treating hypertension in patients who have both high blood pressure and have had a stroke, a heart attack, or some other form of heart disease. The writing committee reinforces the target of less than 140 over 90 to prevent heart attacks and strokes in patients with hypertension and coronary artery disease. They also point out that a lower blood pressure target, for example, less than 130 over 80, may be appropriate in some individuals with CAD, previous MI, stroke, transient ischemic attack, or CAD risk equivalence. This is very important since confusion has arisen in the clinical community over the last year regarding the appropriate target for blood pressure management in the general population. I hope you will take the time to read this scientific statement. It provides detailed recommendations on the pharmacologic approaches to hypertension in patients with important clinical problems, such as acute coronary syndromes and heart failure. Let's remember that hypertension is a very serious and common problem that affects over 80 million Americans and may impact 90% of our population as we age. Congratulations to the writing committee for their hard work in bringing us these latest recommendations.